I don't know. I've lost my family. I'm not sure where they are. Okay, so I didn't really lose my family, but I needed to get away from them for just a second. Okay, in all seriousness, I am traveling with the family and we are going across the country to Oklahoma because there is a family wedding that we're going to and Alessandra and Daniela, my two daughters, and Betty, my wife, the four of us are making the trek. Now, I've never introduced you to Alessandra because there's such a deep story behind Alessandra. I've really been unsure of how to share it with you guys. It's my family! There they are! Please don't record me live again. So I am back home and I needed a little bit more time to think about how I wanted to introduce you guys to Alessandra and why and do it in a way that just didn't feel yucky because Alessandra's disability is truly the least interesting thing about her. Now, she has cerebral palsy because she suffered a brain injury at the very end of her pregnancy with Betty, and that's affected several areas of her body, both physically and cognitively. Alessandra is a curious and gentle and kind and funny person. She's 27 years old, and she, over the years, has kind of been presented with multiple kind of hurdles, and each time she's kind of risen to the occasion, and, and who she is today is a lot different than who the doctors told us she was going to be. One of the benefits of traveling with Alessandra is uh, we get extra special treatment. Basha is giving us the luxury ride through the airport. Yes, Woo! This is going to be the most fun you have all day? It's going to be the whole year. This is the best all year. Yes, sir. It'd be cool if you could open it. Are you giving me a hard time? Are you giving me a hard time? So what I said earlier about Alessandra helping me become kind of the man I am, that is so true. Um, when Alessandra was born, I was married and she was our first, so there were no children. And, you know, marriage in theory is forever, but as we know, a lot of people kind of take the escape hatch on that marriage thing. Well, I remember looking at Alessandra in her first hours of life, knowing things were a little bit off and making a promise to her. And that promise was I would be there always. We got a little quiet time here together in mm -hmm. the back of the antique store because mom and sister are doing what? Are they shopping? Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of strolling mm -hmm. around, taking our time, looking at stuff. Hey, Alessandra, I got a new chair for you. We are in the Guthrie, what is this, Daniela? A park at Apothecary. Apothecary. We're in the Apothecary Museum and there's all kinds of interesting stuff. There's something for bald people, you said? Yeah, I can hear. Well, no more. Now who in God's name would need that? We often laugh because we have two kids, one who is disabled and the other is who is, as we in the disabled world say, typical. And people think that Alessandra is a much more difficult kind of child to have than our typical child, Daniela. And it's true, but it's also not true. Because like everyone who has kids, each of your kids is different. And they bring kind of different challenges to the table. So in some ways, Alessandra's life is fairly predictable and we can help in ways that make a difference. But now that Daniela is 24 and done with school and living on her own, she's kind of out there and, and we are powerless in ways that we're not with Alessandra. And so, you know, on the surface, what seems like it would be a slam dunk, yeah, Alessandra is way more difficult. In reality, it's much more complicated than that. The daughter died real quick. Baby Ackerman, bored and died, April 6, 1926. Make us creepy that we're at the cemetery? No, it's historical. 
it's historical. Yeah, so I guess I am a little creepy because I did want to come to the cemetery. This is Boot Hill, and it's one of the older cemeteries here in Guthrie, um, and I dragged my family along. That is like do-it-yourself. Someone loved you, Reuben. We were given Alessandra as, as a little tiny baby, and over the years we have adjusted, and she has brought more gifts to our lives than we could have ever imagined. Someone told us this really cheesy analogy early on in Alessandra's life, and it's like when you're having a kid, you're planning on a trip to Italy. So your whole itinerary, your clothes, everything is, is set up to go to Italy. And then your, your child is born and all of a sudden you're in Amsterdam and you don't really have an itinerary and you don't have the right clothes and you're not sure you like the food. But after you've stayed there for a while, you know, Amsterdam, it's not such a bad place. Are you ready to do this? Yes! Uncle Ruben lent us the Jeep and Alessandra and I are going for a ride just for the fun of it. Woo! I'm so old that I can drive a stick shift. What do you think, you believe me? All right, we're going. Before Betty and I decided to have children, I had this vision in my head, like what my family is going to be like. And I certainly did not expect to have a disabled child along with a typical kid. That just wasn't in the picture for me. But over the years, we've all kind of become this family and this family that is unique in the way that we kind of relate to each other and love each other and get mad at each other and all of the family stuff that we do. And Alessandra's disability is absolutely 100% part of that. It's not the overriding factor. It doesn't dominate everything because Daniela, she's pretty darn good at letting you know how she feels and what she needs, which is probably a result of having a disabled sister. Those are some Oklahoma ants that are probably crawling up someone's leg in the wedding right about now. Ah! You a sharp looking dude. It's the quiet before the wedding. You look really concerned. I really don't want to be on camera right now. Come on, come on. I really don't. Come on. So we are at the airport and we are about to board the plane and go home. And I would be lying to you if I told you this was a super easy trip because it was not. The wedding was great. Being with my family is great. Traveling with Alessandra can be difficult. And traveling with my typical kid, Daniela, that can be even more difficult. But on balance, I'm happy I have the opportunity to do this, to see them, to come to Oklahoma, and to see such happiness around this wedding, to be with family. So if you ask me if I'd do it again, I would absolutely 100% totally do it again.